Hi, I'm Adele McClay, founder of Small Business Huge Success and inspirator, agitator, motivator, supporting small business entrepreneurs around the world to achieve the success that they are seeking in their small business. And what is success? Well, for me, success in business means financial success, considerable financial success, so the small business entrepreneur can have the lifestyle that they are seeking with their family and friends. So today we're talking about the customer funnel and the area that I want to focus on is networking. Now networking is a very popular way of developing business contacts and there's a good way of doing it and a great way of doing it. You could almost say there's a bad way of doing it and a great way of doing it but each to their own and I'm not going to judge. So let's let me ask you, are you the kind of person that goes to networking events with your business cards and fires them out to people in the hope that some will stick? Perhaps you'll receive them back, but you just give out a pile of cards, you receive a pile of cards, and you just wait to see if someone calls you. Well, if you're that kind of networker, you're what we call a hunter. You go to lots of networking events, and you hunt for the business and a few people may call you and there's lots of people who do that that's a perfectly acceptable way of networking networking there's another way of doing it as well it's where you go to networking events you might not go to that many but you go to the ones that suit you and you hand your card to someone not initially you might get to know them uh, to start with in the meeting ask a few questions get a feeling for what they do ask to receive their card and then in return give them yours. But more importantly, after that initial contact, you make a phone call and you call them and say, hey, it was really lovely meeting you at that event we, we were at last week. How about getting together for a cup of tea or a coffee or a glass of wine or a beer, whatever you do, and let's get to know each other. Let's see if we can help each other to be more successful in business. Now, if you're that kind of networker, you're what we call a farmer. You're farming the relationships that you build. So you're building fewer relationships, but you're deepening the quality of the relationships. And that kind of networking is really important in, in this day and age, in my opinion. That's the kind of networking I like to do, where I get to know a few people, or even lots of people, and I see if I can help them. So I would meet them face to face or sometimes just on Skype because it doesn't always work to, to meet face to face. Uh, Skype is fantastic and perfectly acceptable. But in those meetings, we're swapping stories, getting to know each other, not trying to sell each other on what we do, but just building the relationship. But most importantly, what I always do in those meetings is say to the person that I'm talking to, how can I help you? What could I do to support you to grow your business or help you in business? And by that I mean, is there an introduction I can give them? Is there some knowledge I could pass to them? I'm not trying to sell them my services as a business coach. I'm just saying, hey, what can I do to support you? You've got any challenges at the moment or customers in particular that you would like to be working with that you're not? How could I help you? How can I get to know you? and then support you to grow your business. And you see, the more you do that, the more you give, if you are actually giving to that person, the more likely they are to give back to you. And it might be that they become your customer, but more importantly, they might refer you into someone in their network who would become a customer. And that's probably a better thing. Because this person, if you build a deep relationship, could be an introducer or a referral partner for you. So you're not selling to them, you're just building a relationship and they may refer people into you, just as hopefully you will do for them. So that's called farming relationships. It's a great way of developing friendships, developing business relationships with people you meet in networking groups. And my very good friend, Sam Rattling has built several businesses on the back of giving. And on the back of that, she's written a book called Give, 16 Giving Strategies to Grow Your Business.
So if the idea of giving to others such that you may receive in return appeals to you, then I would highly recommend Sam Rathling's book to you. And it's available on Amazon and I've mentioned it in the link below uh, this video. So just one of the many ways in which you can build customer relationships or um, refer a partner relationships or introducer relationships to people in your network so that over time you increase the potential customers coming in to your funnel. Because remember, we need a constant funnel of potential customers coming in so that when they are ready to purchase, we are ready to sell. Because if we don't have that, if we don't have the funnel, we don't have a sustainable or profitable business. Food for thought, perhaps. So I urge you to think about giving to the people you meet, giving freely, lovingly, joyfully, and they may well give back to you in ways that you've never expected in support of you and your business. And as I said, if, if you like the idea of that, Give by Sam Rathling is a fabulous book on the topic and it's available on Amazon. So as I like to say, dream it, believe it, achieve it. You can achieve everything that you want in your small business and I wish you every success in doing that. Bye.